Welcome back friends. We have been doing problems on sequences and series in real analysis. Uh, problems uh, uh, that were uh, asked in uh, CSIR net. Now we see a question uh, that was asked in June 2018. Given that A n is equal to 1 over 10 to the power 100 to power n, comma B n is equal to 10 to the power 100 times log n and C of n is equal to 1 over 10 to the power 100, 10 to the power 10 times n square. Now, which of the following statements are true? Now, we are given four statements. A n is greater than C n for sufficiently large n. B n is greater than C n for sufficiently large n. B n is greater than C n for sufficiently large n. And A n is greater than B n for sufficiently large n. So, to find the answer for this problem, uh, what we have to do is, uh, when you read uh, binomial theorem, exponential and uh, logarithmic expansions, you will, you will be coming across uh, uh, a theorem called inequality theorem, inequality theorem, which states that if k is any fixed positive integer, if k is any fixed positive uh, number or integer, then then uh, one e power x upon x power k tends to infinity as x tends to infinity. The meaning of that is e power x tends to infinity faster than any power of x. e power x tends to infinity faster than any power of x. So that's the meaning of that. So e power x grows faster than any polynomial power of x. Okay? Faster than. Now the second result is log upon x power k tends to 0 as x tends to infinity. The meaning of that is log x tends to infinity more slowly, more slowly than any power of x. Than any power of x. Therefore, that is the growth of log function is much slower than the growth of the polynomial function. Growth of the polynomial function. So, these two results that we are going to make use of. Now, let us come to the problem. Look at the option A. A, a of n is greater than C of n. Now, let us write down A of n. What is A of n? A of n is 1 over 10 to the power 100 times 2 to the power n. And what is, B, what is C of n? Uh, C of n is given to be 1 over 10 to the power 10 times n square. So now we will find out the a of n over c of n. So this is 1 over 10 to the power 100 times 2 power n by 10 to the power 10 times n square. So let us forget about the constants. Let us forget about the constants. So what uh, this is uh, when you simplify this uh, what you will get is 1 over 10 to the power 90 times 2 to the power n by n square. But what we have to do is we have to concentrate only on these two functions. This is an exponential function whereas this is a, a polynomial function. By the result 1, by the result 1 of the inequality theorem, by the case 1 of the inequality theorem, exponential function grows faster or tends to infinity than any power of any positive power of x. Therefore, this tends to infinity as n tends to infinity, as n tends to infinity. The meaning is a power n is greater than c of n for sufficiently large n, for sufficiently large n. Sufficiently large n can be written like this also, as n tends to infinity. Therefore, option 1 is true. Option 1 is true. So, option 1 is true. Now, look at the option b. bn is greater than cn. So, what do we do here is, we keep C n as it is and now we change B n. We write down B n. Okay. So, we change, uh, we write down B n. B n is given to be uh, 10 to the power 100 times log n. 10 to the power 100 times log of n. Now, what do we do is B n over C of n. B n over C of n. Now, let us calculate that. So, 10 to the power 100 times log n by 1 by 10 to the power 10 times n square. Now let us say 10 to the power 110 times uh, log n by n square. So we have to concentrate only on this. We have to concentrate only on this. And this tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. As n tends to infinity. Because uh, by inequality theorem, part 2 of the inequality theorem, log x tends to infinity more slowly than any power of x. So, this grows much slower than 
the polynomial function therefore the tends to zero as n tends to infinity therefore therefore b of n is less than c of n but what are we given b of n is greater than c of n so this is false this is false now uh, c of n now let us uh, let us uh, now let us uh, find the let us settle down the option c what is b of n b of n is logarithm right so b of n is a log function b of n is log function take the power n log n and uh, uh, we are given that uh, this log function uh, therefore uh, b of n over n is 10 to the power 100 times log n over n this is tends to zero as n tends to infinity by this again by part 2 of the inequality theorem because log function must grows much slowly than polynomial function therefore b of n this implies what b of n is less than n for sufficiently large n for sufficiently large n so this is the output that we are getting but we are given that b of n is greater than n which is false which is false now take the option 4 uh, a, a, a of n option 4 is uh, something to do with a n and b n now what is a of n a of n is 1 over 10 to the power 100 times 2 power n now what do we do is uh, a of n over b of n here the comparison is between uh, exponential function and logarithmic function so 1 over 10 to the power 100 2 power n and uh, 10 to the power this b of n is log n now you combine these two exponential function uh, grows faster than polynomial function and uh, polynomial function grows faster than logarithmic function now by transitivity exponential function grows faster than any logarithmic function therefore this tends to infinity as n tends to infinity so this implies a of n is greater than b of n uh, for sufficiently large n as n tends to infinity therefore option c is option d is correct option so what which two options are correct a and d are correct a and d are correct so the idea behind that is inequality theorem which you can read while reading binomial theorem logarithmic or exponential expansions so when you read those things you will be knowing about this okay